ruined me dot. Can we get a video of that? Oh look, day eight. Day eight. Day, day eight. eight. Moby Dick has been spotted. That is not a beach well, that is Ben Morgan. Morgs mate, get in the water, please. <laughs> I've just been chilling out, uh, went up the old uh, the old cable car to have a look over over Salter and, and the Andes, which was which was nice, and yeah, then just pop down down in town for uh, for a bit of lunch. It's nice as rolling hills of Gloucestershire, looking over Salter. Yeah, it's, it's it's slightly different. It's nice that the sun's out here and, and you can actually see something rather than just clouds and rain. But um, yeah, Gloucester holds a special place in my heart anyway. So uh, I wouldn't say it's, it's as good, but it's, it's definitely up there. You weren't tempted to go and play golf then with some of the other lads? Uh, I'm not very good at golf. If if there was a buggy and you know. An endless supply of balls, I probably would have done it, but no, nah, not, not for me. If I'm right in saying, I think it was uh, Fodes and Stephen Myler uh, were the boys that won it, um, with Dicko and Wiggy behind. I don't know, but I, I can't imagine Fodes being very good. Can I just say? Yeah, go on. We've got Ben Morgan in the dock over there. Ben Morgan has spent two days doing nothing, and now look at it, that is not an athlete. This is an athlete. Here we are. This is an athlete. There's an athlete, Billy 12 trees. Athlete. As you can see, we have the alpha male, Billy 12 <laughs> trees. If we go to the right, we have a beached whale. <laughs> That's disgusting. Please just get, just submerge yourself in the water. Look, the doc's got the idea, look. <laughs> doc, you're looking great from here, mate. You look great. Pretty chilled out day, really. We got up, um, well, we got up pretty early, um, had some breakfast, and headed up to to do some weights up in, I'm not sure really where it was, up in the mountains where it was a nice gym though, real good. Um, boys did some power and stuff there, a bit of a fire up, ready for the afternoon session, came back, had a meeting, um, and then traveled to the to the ground this afternoon to do some more prep for the game, a bit of attack, a bit of defense, some set piece stuff, some maps just to, to clarify what we're doing on the weekend and um, straight back in the pool, which was nice, feet up. Yeah, catch a bit of sun. I mean, the weather's been great. If, considering it's their winter, I mean, you can't really complain. You take this as an English summer, to be honest. The thing for the fair-haired fair guys is just uh, whacking the sun cream on 24-7 so we don't burn. But Team meal out tonight. Who do you think you might try and sit next to if you can? Um, oh, I, I tend to sit next to Billy on Billy Von Apula or maybe Joe Launchby on things like this. So um, I try and avoid Marlon at all costs. I think that's the, that's the key, really. But uh, now it'll be good. Good fun tonight, yeah. Different physio here with us on on tour. Mike Lancaster, the guy I know from uh, from Worcester. Any stories about him from from Worcester days, or is it not appropriate for the camera? Not really. Nothing appropriate for the camera. But I tell you what has been terrible is he's brought his Worcester kit with him. <laughs> so he's worn his Worcester Worcester top and Worcester shorts to the pool, which he's just got to let that go when he's on tour. I suppose, isn't he? So, captain's run this morning. Um, we had to go early on because I didn't see obviously get the first cho the choice of timing, so we went earlier on. And then uh, back to hotel, a bit of R and R really. Obviously, can't chill around by the pool. It's nice weather, but we don't want to be out in the sun too long today. Uh, so most of the boys just been chilling out, playing the computer games or watching TV. So to be honest with you. Shirt presentation this evening as well. It's, it's nice because in a weird way, it's it's one of the times that you know the squad as a whole can just say well done before the game and. Uh, and the fact you get that shirt in your hand the night before and you get to go back to your room and, I don't know, put it down, have a look at it and stuff, you, you kind of have a bit of time to actually soak it all in a way, whereas opposed to walking in the change room, obviously the adrenaline's already running and your shirt's there, you don't really get the chance to just kind of sit down and think, you know. Who are you rooming with? Rooming with Richard Wigglesworth. And he, um, he's a good room, roommate? He was, the first week, and then he started drinking lots of protein. <laughs> and uh, you can imagine what happens uh, after two bowels with that. So now I've been, uh, yeah, I've been telling him to get out of the room every now and again. Actually, got to give uh, Wiggy credit. He, uh, I was going to be late for meeting today. I hadn't been for him. I thought it's nine forty. It's actually twenty past nine. So he got me out of that one. Great tour so far. There's a lot of young lads. You know, really eager to learn everything like that. As we all are, and it, it's just great. Cause sometimes when you come into a setup like this, everyone has their own ideas how to play rugby. You know, they come from the club rugby. But everyone's been so keen to buy into obviously uh, this new way of playing. In a sense, when they when they meet with England, and uh, you know, really looking forward to playing tomorrow. Fairly early start this morning um, to get from Salter back to Buenos Aires, uh, back to our hotel here in the industrial heartland of Buenos Aires. And then we've had a bit of pool recovery and some massage recovery massages, which was much needed. Pretty much blanket nothing this evening. Going to be uh, spending a bit more time with the masseuses, trying to uh, try and iron out some some knots in the body. You'll be doing the crossword uh, or something, eh? Yeah, a little bit of crossword. I've actually got the crossword to do. We finished our game of Scrabble, yeah. dominating. And uh, then going straight to bed, sleeping. We got uh, we got a long day tomorrow, so getting a few hours kept. Taking you back a few hours to last night, there was a bit of karaoke, wasn't the post match? Um, who was any good? Who bombs? You know, dish of dirt. Foads, you could argue stole the show, but it was just 
It was too rehearsed. He's so keen. Yeah. So keen with karaoke. I think he's trying to do a duet with his missus at some point, I think. But, um, yeah. I like Rob Boxer stole the show, really. He, did a, he had everyone singing. He did well. Tom Johnson was, was yeah. good enthusiasm, but struggled. Yeah. Paul Doran Jones was the big bomb for me. <laughs> he uh, he literally circled the drain. He dedicated his silence. song to his missus. It wasn't even yeah, there. It was horrible. Was a bit, horrible. A bit painful. It's good to see Lanny getting involved. He uh, he definitely got, uh, got the boys up together I, and with him. I think they were just cheering to get him off after all 10 minutes of American. And pie. It was fairly long. You're rooming together in Salto. I've upgraded now. I've gone to Joe Launch with a better lock. So. <laughs> and Dave, you've moved to. Uh, I've got Pinny Villapolo now, so. I'm, no room in that. I'm sleeping, <laughs> sleeping with one room. eye open. <laughs> What's the best thing about rooming together? And is it, is it a relief now to be, uh, to be apart? You seem to be Dave's endless sort. supply of adapters was the best. <laughs> Uh, best highlight. I didn't have any trouble getting to sleep because Rob's chat is awful. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>